Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some new, some fresh, some trending makeup. Oh, I'm really moving a lot when I'm talking, what's going on? Yeah, I'm very expressive, especially with my hands. I throw them way too much when I'm talking. It's dangerous sometimes, especially for the people around me. If I have people around me, I'm, I'm being very careful with my hands because I don't want to slap somebody by accident. It's awkward. Yeah, it has happened before. <laughs> They're fine. I hope. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So let me get you in the mood here and explain what exactly we're doing. So usually all the products that I get from my PR packages, I store them in a huge box. And when that box is all full, I start taking some products and trying them out. I try to postpone using new stuff as much as I can so that I can get the most out of my old stuff. Don't get me wrong, I'm very impatient. I love diving into that box and painting my face with makeup at 2 a.m. for no particular reason. But today I decided that, hey, why not take that box and dive in it? together because it's kind of selfish to do it on my own i'm not gonna lie <laughs> let me show you the box really quickly oh my god my lower back i'm way too young to feel pain like that this chair that i have i love ikea but this is the worst chair that they have i don't know why we keep on making uncomfortable chairs i've never heard of anybody not a single human being on this planet being like man I really love that chair. When I sit on it, it destroys my lower back. My lower back hurts for like two weeks after that. Love it. Five stars, best product on Amazon. Making uncomfortable chairs should be illegal. It's a crime, okay? I'm sorry for my little chair rent. Rent? Rant. Mm. So this is, this is the box. This is probably like 15 kilos, you guys camera don't mess with me right now i'm in a really difficult position i hate you camera i hate you i don't know how much is 15 kilos in pounds but this is heavy i have no arm muscles and this is very difficult for me i want to show you what's inside here so we have some makeup let me take this out i'm sweating but we have ton of makeup inside there. Here I have some of the new Morphe collaboration with that TikTok girl. How is her name? Dixie? No, how is her sister's name? My lower back hurts. I'm forgetting names. I can't keep up with the idols of the youth. Oh my god, that's it. I'm out. I'm gonna start off with, an, with my primer today. I actually have it right here in front of me. This one, I got it myself. It's the Ilia True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. Ooh, it sounds fancy and it is. I really wanted to try this one out. I also wanna get some more products from this brand because they seem like they have good stuff, you know? Whoa, that's a long drop dr dropper. So I'm gonna take some of it on my hands. Is that too much? Probably. I just want to pat it into my skin first. I'm gonna take some more from my forehead here. I already have my eyebrows on because I had a very intense plucking session yesterday. They look horrible without any makeup on. I went a little bit crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa, that's nice. This primer makes my skin feel sticky. I like that. I like it when my primers make my skin feel sticky because I feel like that way my foundation stick better to my skin. And I like that it doesn't make my skin like crazy dewy or crazy matte. Something in between. I think that the pimple is coming out right here on my cupid's bow. What is wrong with your skin? So for my foundation, I'm gonna try one of those new ones by Morphe. I doubt that they will give me the coverage that I want because especially when I'm filming on camera, I want my coverage to be full. I want everything to be covered or when I'm going for a very dramatic look. But I think that this foundation will give me more lightweight coverage. So I don't know. I need to shake it first. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the shade called Hint of Marshmallow. And this is very liquidy. It's like water. Oh my god, look at it. Woohoo! So I'm gonna get some of it on my sponge. I don't know if sponge is the best tool to use with this foundation, but that's okay. I think that because it's so liquidy, you can also use it with your fingers and you'll be good to go. But I wanna try it with my sponge because the sponge is my favorite tool for applying my makeup. Oh, by the way, you guys, I started doing this new thing where I'm washing my sponges in the washing machine. I know. It sounded really weird to me when I first heard of it. I don't know who gave me the idea for that. I think that it was some kind of a video on Facebook. 
I don't know, but I put my sponges in one of those like underwear bags for the washing machine, a mesh bag. I don't know how they're called. Yeah, I put my sponges in there and I throw them in the washing machine. And oh my god, they're coming out all clean. My sponges have never been that clean before. I'm washing them with some other clothes, but I'm not adding any softener. Just to prevent any breakouts and skin irritations. And they smell like my detergent actually, <laughs> which is so nice. This shade of foundation is almost perfect for me. Maybe slightly darker, but overall really good shade. You can definitely see my blemishes peeking through. You can definitely see them. This is something like a tinted moisturizer, just something that you can throw on your face really quickly before you go out. As you can tell, it makes my skin very dewy. I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer on the areas where I need more coverage. I'm gonna be back. These are just a few eyeshadow palettes that have been recently released. We have this one here by Colourpop. The packaging is so nice. Look at it. I wanna cry. It's so beautiful. Again, Colourpop, this is their Wild Nothing palette. They're doing an amazing job with their packagings and the art on their packagings. BH Cosmetics Avocado Toast. Hmm. Don't give eyeshadow palettes food names because that makes me like them without even trying them. We have Melt Cosmetics. Look at those dark, vampy shades. Woo! This is perfect for the fall. Morphe main event. Check this one out. I think that these eyeshadows here, you're supposed to use them wet because you know they have little instructions here which makes me think that you should wet your brush first and then dip it in there. I love these more dark themed eyeshadow palettes, especially now for the fall. I think that I'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette because the packaging, oh my god, it's moving you guys. Can you tell? When I first saw this eyeshadow palette, I was like, this is so cool. I used to have toys like this. I don't know how this material is called, but I used to have toys like that when I was young. So this is kind of bringing me back. It's kind of nostalgic. You guys know that I'm not a huge fan of green, but I think that I'm gonna use green on my eyes today. I don't like the color green, but I like green eyeshadows on me because I feel like it's complementing the brown color of my eyes. What happened to me today? Is this my evil twin recording this video? I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Not today. Makeup Forever also recently came up with some new eye pencils. I want to use this green one here. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off... Whoa! This eye pencil is really soft. Oh my god, I'm barely touching my skin. And look at that color. I wonder if it's easy to blend. I'm gonna get a pencil brush and I'm gonna start... Whoa, this is really creamy. I think that I found my new favorite eye pencils. It's a little bit more of like a bluish green. It's not that lettuce green color, you know? It's more turquoise. I was going for that lettuce. I love how I'm describing colors with foods. That is so me. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this mouth eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna take this green shade right here. I will add it right on top of that eye pencil. Whoa, this is very pigmented, you guys. It is very saturated. Whoa, okay, so as you can tell, I created some very harsh lines there. It looks very rough. So I'll try to blend it out using... Let's try this one. Now I'll try to add some of this yellow shade on my eyelid. I think that this yellow eyeshadow would have come out a lot more pigmented if I had a white base underneath. Lady Gaga, I mean her brand, um, came up with some new eye pencils as well. I want to use the shade Empire to define that eye look there. So I thought maybe I can use it to define this part of the look this kind of circle here you know it's more of like a metallic eye pencil it's not matte but i like that quite a lot okay i don't know how we even got here i'm calling this look poisonous avocado toast i've been playing with this look a little bit off camera i was trying to oh my god that was my water Woo! Sweat. There is water all over the floor. 
So, I was saying that um, I was trying to figure out this look, I was trying to kind of make it work. I wasn't really happy with how the yellow eyeshadow came out. I was expecting it to be a little bit more bright. It's not that it's not pigmented. I was expecting it to be more bright. It is very pigmented. All the eyeshadows from this Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow palette are super intense. They're also a little bit more powdery, but they're really easy to blend, really easy to apply. They're a dream to work with. I love the Melt Cosmetics eyeshadows. I really enjoy using their eyeshadows on my eyes. Let me see what else we have in this box here. Oh, Colourpop. I think that I can use this on my eyes on top of the on top of the yellow. So this is one of their jelly jelly match. I love this formula by um, Colourpop. These eyeshadows, the jelly match ones are I'm gonna just say that these are awesome. Especially for those of you who are beginner with makeup. They're so easy to apply. They're like jelly. I'll try to apply this on top of that yellow shade. Let's see what happens. So I'm basically pressing that into my skin. I'm not trying to drag it because that may disturb the eyeshadows underneath. Was this a good idea? I think that this kind of ruined my poisonous avocado toast vibe. <laughs> I don't know if this was the best idea ever. I kind of wish I could go back to that yellow shade. That jelly eyeshadow kind of covered all the yellow. I don't know how that even happened. It's not visible anymore. This look looks poisonous. It's very intense. Like, guys, it's very intense. <laughs> and it's also super green, so... I wish I could bring back some of that yellow on my eyes. I kind of miss it now. And I was complaining about it. Anyways, let's move on with the face makeup. You know what? I'll get my hand inside there and whatever I catch, I'll have to use it. Okay, let's play a little game. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's a blush. I really hope it's not a crazy color. I got lucky. I got lucky. Oh, because let me show you. There is this other blush again by Colourpop and it's this color. <laughs> I'm so lucky I didn't grab this one. Anyways, let's go ahead and try it out. It looks really cute. I like more soft colors like this one. I would never wear like that other one that I just showed you. I would never. But something like this, definitely. I like also bringing it on my nose. I think that this look, when I add the falsies, it would look so much better. Hey, I like this blush. I can't stop adding. Oh, it also has that gold sheen in there. Or is it my brush? Did I have something on my brush? I don't think that there is a gold sheen in the blush, but there is a gold sheen on my face. I'm confused. I think it's time to wash my brushes. Now I'm moving on to my lashes. I don't really have a new pair of falsies. I'm gonna use um, a pair that I already have used. This one here by Huda Beauty, it's called Hoodie. But before that, I wanna try out the Lily Lashes Mascara. They recently came up with a mascara, the wand is Huge. Let's go ahead and try it out. I feel like the one grabs so much product, a lot more than I actually need. Okay, I don't think that this mascara is giving me any length, but it's giving me volume. My lashes look fuller. You can't really tell how my lashes look because I have so much makeup on my eyelids. I think that the next time I will use this mascara, I will definitely make sure to wipe off the wand from the excess product. I usually do it like this. And then the excess product, I don't know if you can tell, but the excess product is sitting there. And when I put the wand back in the tube, it's kind of pushing it back again. So no product lost. My lower back is killing me. All right, this is the look with some falsies on. I told you that the falsies will make a huge difference. Did I actually say that or I was thinking of saying it? Warning, put on your sunglasses, protect your eyes, cover them, because I'm gonna blind you right now. Guys, check out this highlighter. What is this? Huda Beauty. This is what it is. It's Huda Beauty. Isn't this the most beautiful highlighter ever? It's almost the size of my head. This is large. This is basically a highlighter for everywhere. It's an all-over highlighter. You can wear it everywhere on your body. I really hope it won't be too dark for me. Sigma also came up with some new brushes. This is the soft blend one. Whoa, I was expecting this highlighter to be more powdery, but it's not. It's not at all. 
I'm afraid my brush is not picking anything up. Check it out. There is almost no kick off. Nothing. It's like I'm rubbing my brush on a stone. It's not moving at all. I like that. Okay, let's see if my brush picked anything. Oh, it definitely did. Oh, wow. Good job, Hura. Good job. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry for doing that to your eyes. A little bit on my nose. I thought that it would be way too dark for me, but it's not. I want to apply this all over my face. Look at my nose. <laughs> you can see your reflection on my nose. It's that bright. This is awesome. I want to keep on applying this highlighter everywhere. And I love the fact that it's huge. It's the size of my palm. Nice. <laughs> I think that it's time to tone everything down because this highlighter it's bright. What a beauty. Glow Coco Hydra Mist. This is her new setting spray. Hold the bottle about six inches from your face. How much is six inches? Six inches in centimeter. 15 centimeters. Okay, I've got this. 15 centimeters is about this much. This much. Spray Glow Coco onto your body for a pick me up. You can store your glow cocoa in the fridge for extra freshness. Ooh, that's a great idea. It smells nice. So I'm gonna press my sponge on top of my highlighter and see how instantly it looks so much more natural. I like doing this with my Ofra makeup fixer, but I can see that this trick also works with this Huda Beauty setting spray. It works with most of the setting sprays, actually. I need some more. Her previous setting spray was also had a very intense fragrance. I should admit it was not as pleasant as this one. This one has a lot more sweet, a lot more gentle scent, where the previous one was very like aggressive, you know? It was very, very, very intense um, scent. I liked her previous setting spray, but the reason that I stopped using it was the fragrance. The new one is a lot better. All right, all right, all right. This next product, I'm really excited to try out. Colourpop came up with freck freckle pens. And these little guys are supposed to give you freckles in a really natural way. They have two different shades that look like this. The one is a little bit lighter, the other one is darker. I will go in with the lighter one so you're basically supposed to like boop, beep, boom, ping, boom, ping, and give yourself freckles just press them on your skin whoa i like that they're not very very saturated yeah this looks like freckles i don't know why i started applying them on my forehead first i like that when you press them with your finger they're very nicely fading out and they look so natural whoa my concealer is creasing like crazy because I forgot to set it with powder. <laughs> Let's try out the darker one. So these are quite cool toned brown shades. I wish they were a little bit more more warm toned because freckles are more warm where this one looked gray. By the way, can we appreciate how evenly this Huda Beauty spray is spraying? <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I'm going to spray it in your face now or in my camera. Is this a good idea? No, you can't even tell, but it's so like, it creates a cloud of setting spray. It is so beautiful. It's not one of those aggressive sprays. It's more like, anyways, I like how I'm explaining stuff. I either use food to describe colors or I'm using sound effects or my hands to explain more complicated stuff. <laughs> well, that works for me. So I added some white pencil in my waterline. I use this one here by House Laboratories. Why my hand is yellow? For my lipstick, we'll play a little game here. I have all of the new lipsticks from that box in here and I'll just, you know, pick one. I hope I don't get a really intense, really dark one because I don't want to look like a clown. I already have way too many things going on on the eyes. This is what I was afraid of. Seriously now? A purple lip gloss? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it doesn't look that purple. Yay. <laughs> it doesn't look that purple at all. I thought it would have a lot more tint, but it doesn't. This again from that Morphe collaboration. Let's try out something different, guys. This is way too, way too nude. What is this? Colourpop lip gloss. Oh, this one looks nice and nude. Oh, I thought that this one would be more tinted. 
the new lip products that I have are mainly lip glosses, so I don't know where this is going. Third and last time. This one. What is this? Morphe Lip Crayon. This looks like a very nice nude shade. It's not bad. And what if I add that previous lip gloss by Colourpop on top of it? Just for some shine, you know? I picked both of them randomly, so I think that I'm allowed to use both of them. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video today. Let me know what you think about this look down in the comments. I know it's a lot. I know it's heavy, but I wanted to play with some eyeshadows. I wanted to play with the new makeup. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like that where I'm diving into my box of new makeup with you guys. I really enjoyed filming this video today because I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing. I wasn't sure what the end result would be. And that sometimes can be a disaster because I like planning my makeup looks before filming them for you. If I don't have a plan, Sometimes it's good, but most of the times it can be a total disaster. An absolute mess. We've been there. Who am I wearing green on my eyes today? I can't believe it. What happened to me? <laughs> if you guys enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, because that helps me a lot. And you can also find me on Instagram, where I'm posting some Instagram exclusive makeup tutorials. They're fun, they're quick. Or Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next one. Bye!